convolution property of Fourier transform. The Fourier transform of XT is X omega and Fourier transform of YT Fourier transform of Yt is Y omega then we will find out the Fourier transform of Xt convolved with Yt Fourier transform of Xt convolved with Yt is integration of Xt convolved with Yt e to the power minus k omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now xt convolve with yt is integration of x tau y t minus tau d tau so the Fourier transform of xt convolved with yt is now here we will change the order of integration we will first integrate with respect to t and then we integrate with respect to tau so the expression becomes integration of x tau integration of y t minus tau e to the power minus t omega t and then delta u. The term integration of y t minus tau e to the power minus g omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity is uh, Fourier transform of y t minus tau. Here Fourier transform of y t is y omega so Fourier transform of y t minus tau should be e to the power minus j omega tau y omega this is the time shifting property of Fourier transform so replacing the Fourier transform of y t minus tau So now the Fourier transform of xt convolved with yt is integration of x tau then e to the power minus j omega tau y omega. Now y omega is independent of tau so this will come out of the integration and we are left with integration of uh, x tau e to the power minus j omega tau with respect to tau from minus infinity to plus infinity now the second term here this is nothing but the Fourier transform of x tau or xt which is x omega so the Fourier transform of xt convolved with yt is y omega into x omega this is x omega So now for a transform of xt convolved with yt is x omega into y omega. We can write this property in terms of uh, f also. For a transform of xt is xf 
and Fourier transform of uh, yt is yf then Fourier transform of xt convolved with yt is xf into yf now to apply this convolution property of Fourier transform the convolution of two signals should be bounded signal then only we can apply the convolution property of Fourier transform because for unbounded signal we cannot find out the Fourier transform let us see one example of this if we convolve ut with ut then it will be rt ut itself is bounded this ut is also bounded and its convolution is ram signal rt and this ram signal is unbounded signal and for unbounded signal we cannot find out the Fourier transform so um, here we cannot find the Fourier transform of uh, uh, RT by simply multiplying the Fourier transform of UT with Fourier transform of UT because UT is unbounded so we should be careful about this condition that convolution of two signals should be bounded then only we can apply the convolution property of Fourier transform to find the Fourier transform of any signal now let us take an example where convolution of two signal is bounded that is ut convolve with del t if we convolve any signal with impulse then convolution is that signal itself so ut convolve with del t should be ut that is bounded signal now we are applying the convolution property to find the Fourier transform of ut convolve with del t Fourier transform of ut is 1 by j omega plus pi del omega and the Fourier transform of del t is 1 so in frequency domain we just have 1 by j omega plus pi del omega which is the Fourier transform of ut so ut convolved with del t is ut which is bounded signal and its Fourier transformer Fourier transform is 1 by j omega pi del omega so this is an example of uh, Fourier transform using convolution property of Fourier transform.